everybody is serious, aka DJ Anti Zero. And yeah, we got another one. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to call this one. I, I want to call it like hot tips and ideas of how I DJ. Um, all day today, I didn't really do much. I actually spent some time with my roommate's daughter. Uh, and I kicked her out like about an hour ago because I'm tired of her. Yeah, I was supposed to head out and do something, but I ended up not doing it. Everything speaks on phone. So, what I wanted to go over today, or at least ideally, is so I have an idea. Did I put my camera on? Whatever. So, the idea is I have two, well, it's one idea, but it's almost done. My prototype version is I go to Dollar Tree, buy this, which is a mirror, obviously, and put one of these phone case holders on uh, the back of it. So now if a model wants to, you know, view themselves while taking pictures, I can go like that. Now, you're going to ask me, well, that's crazy. How would you, you know, take this and take pictures at the same time? Well... I have a little, you know, a thing to screw on top of my camera to put this clip on it. The only downside is this clip is actually too small for this 5-inch mirror. So what I am planning on ordering next week is a 5-inch version or the 7-inch or whatever I can order to fit in between that to screw it in. So that now when I shoot, I'll be shooting constantly like that the entire time. And sorry for the dim light. I have like multiple different lights going on right now and none of them are hitting my face. Um, especially this decoration that I did. So these little lights actually cost me a big lot, eight to ten dollars. I pretty I'm well aware I can get it I could have got it cheaper at a uh, Walmart or something. But um the tree itself I got for a dollar. So just a small little decoration. I'm actually planning on doing a little photo shoot after this vlog. Um, after I drop this vlog, after I edit it, etc. So, today is going to be something really light. So, my tips and tricks on DJing. And I'm just going to go over some basic stuff. Nothing like too crazy. What I have is the algor algorithm DJ. So, I don't have Serato. don't have Tractor. Don't, uh, I don't. I'm not saying I don't like them. It's just... I have it since years. I had this for years. And I loved it mainly because it's the Spotify um, integration that I had on it before before anything else. Uh, it was definitely in my range of, I think it was 40 during the time when I bought it. Um, it was a little bit less than 40. As a matter of fact, I think it was on sale. It was, it was a year on sale. And I can use my iPod and my, no, I had my iPhone, so I used my iPhone with it. So, this DJ equipment that I have right now, which is the DJ DDJ SB2, as you can see, um, I did not have this originally. I had the DJ Wiggle 3 for the time uh, with my iPad, no iPod. I keep saying that wrong, <laughs> and I DJ for that. And I actually had a lot of like, yo, you could really DJ da, 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 when I've gotten that point. Before that point, it was just my laptop, which was a regular laptop, which didn't have, it wasn't able during the time to do Windows for the app that I was using. Now it can do Windows, like now the app can do Windows, but beforehand I couldn't do that. So in the past it was that, and I was YouTubing, or I was just like playing music off my quote unquote iTunes off the, off the uh, laptop. And that's how I was DJ without turntables. So I was doing it without it. And I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of booze during the time, but at the same time, I was only the only DJ in that area. Like, I went to, I had gone to a uh, school out in Canandaigua, and everybody wanted to party, but the problem was. Every time we partied, it was always the same people. It was no, nobody know it different. Nobody came up from the city or from Syracuse or from Rochester to go to the school 
or like go here to the pool party. It was just us. It was like a few of us, a few times, yeah, we had Syracuse to Xwanzi, but it was just us. Versus where in Binghamton, you have people come from the city constantly. It's a lot more massive. You have the townspeople. You have people from SUNY Broome and from Binghamton University. So you have a mix and mingle. So it's not always the same people. Like it is what that you have opportunities to see somebody new. Um, but this here did not have suffered. That's the background story. Um, it was a cool experience. Uh, we yeah, I was the only DJ, and I actually grew my skills that way. It took me two years to grow some substance. It wasn't like, oh yeah, you know, I'm uh, I'm killing DJ. Even at the point, I'm still not like a killing DJ. Like I can still DJ, but the level I want to get to, which I just realized how to get to it, um, took me at this point at least like five, six years to like understand that realm of it but my usual setup is this uh i keep i'm gonna show you guys in a second i don't use the four deck system i use the two deck i want to use the four deck but i don't know how yet and i prefer to have the four deck with the four channels not just the two channels and then i can switch on and off between deck one and three and deck two and four i don't want that i want the four different channel so I'm looking at the mix on four for that. But currently at the moment, um, my tips and tricks when I DJ, and I can't see what you guys are seeing, so we're going to have to like figure this out at the same time. <laughs> so I have the play button set up, which I have a song, but I'm not going to play it because copyright issues. I have a song set up where it's, when I press play, it starts right away, as in the sense of, there's no second delay, no two second delay. Now, when I stop the song, I have a 0.3 or 0.4 delay just to make it sound like, I don't know, I, I, I know you probably, guys probably couldn't hear that. Hold on. I'll do it real quick because I don't want to. See how that, that fade out? So. Yeah, I have, a, I have a, so it's like point second, not even, there's a point three or point four second delay on that, so it slows down before it actually cuts, which is actually going to make it a little bit longer, because I actually don't like the sound of that, I probably will make it point five or point six, um, I still got to mess around with it, because I have to restart my whole computer, so everything got disorganized, and if you end up seeing the night quote, the day quote, in the, in the, <laughs> that's just there, ignore it. I, I just kind of leave it there because I just started rearranging my room today or yesterday on Thanksgiving Day. But that's that. Um, I do use a filter fader, which comes in handy. Uh, what it does is it cuts the song that's over here from the vocals. I think it goes to bass. And when I slide it over, it cuts the, it cuts the bass out, so it technically goes like this as I'm sliding into that side of it. Um, if I can check the screen. Yeah, so it's, so it actually high pitch, or it, it went all the way trouble. I, again, I want to show you guys, but I don't want to too much into it, but mainly when I DJ, I have my samples, which, let's see. DJ, DJ. One of my favorite samples. You will always hear that in every single one of my mix. Let me not blast that though. So I always had the DJ, DJ, which came with the uh, program. that you have this higher end. I don't use the gunshot, but I use that. And I have others, but like I said, it reset on me, so I can't, you know, do it the way I was doing it. Make sure you guys. All right, cool. Um, any other tips? So I keep my FX. I have using my echo effect here and my phaser. I have my time traveler. Uh, I don't know if you know what time traveler did. It just get stuck on me. Oh, because I have it set on. Whatever. Um, and use this. It's always on. I usually do this within the mix, and so does the phaser. The phaser to me, 
I use it for like when it's a calm beat. So instead of bringing the bass down low, all, not all the time, I, I blend between the phaser and this. So sometimes I'll just use this, sometimes I'll use this, sometimes I use both. And then usually when I do use this on its own, I take, ooh, I take the vocals and make it sound like it's about to get muffled or really low, but keep everything up to normal. So it sounds like it's kind of a bit like, you ever hear like one of those like, I'm not going to say EDMs, but don't, and it's not going, mm, 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 that's what I kind of do with the phaser effect. So I want to show you guys more examples of it, but yeah. Uh, as far as tempo wise, I don't like changing the tempo of the original song. I'll keep the, like, what I started doing now, or what I noticed that I like doing, God, this is really recent, like, as in, like, I learned this, like, two weeks ago, um, is the key lock feature, which takes a song and doesn't alter the pitch of the song, so that way when I change the tempo, all those speeds up, but it doesn't sound like the artist or the beat or instrumental didn't um, change in pitch or a tone. All it did was just sped up from what it was, which I like. But again, I don't use that future um, only because of the fact of I don't like messing with the song. The only time I use this is when, let's say if it's 100 uh, BPM, and I want to go, and I want to shoot it down to like a 96 or 97. It's the only time I'll do that. Usually for that, I'll press the sync button behind the most DJs be like, yo, why would you do that? And honestly, like I tell people, I'm not here to entertain DJs. I'm here, I'm here to entertain the crowd. So I press the sync button, um, you know, to match it up. I listen to it while it's, it's Q mode. So I'm press all these knobs while the music is going on and playing. And I'm like... I, I like it, so bam. Not bam right away, but like I blend it in. I'll wait for the count, proper timing, as soon as the chords come in. I'll bring this over after I've toned down the bass. But I wanna to I wanna to focus on the bass, I will focus on the treble, so I'll, I'll bring the treble up so the bass gets knocked out. So all you hear more is the vocals and then now I have the underlaying of the beat. And if there's vocals in the song, I'm either going this way or I leave as is because I like how both of them sound together. And then I switch over to the next song that way. That's the only time I actually change the tempo of the song. Other than that, I don't change it to make every song fit that one tempo. Like, I know some DJs, and I see some DJs, and no offense to those DJs because some of them are all my friends. Um, because I know very few of those, very few of those DJs that actually can kill it. Uh, DJ Who Kid is definitely one of those DJs I know can kill it when doing stuff like that. Um, shout out to uh, Special K and Shy Guy because y'all two definitely do it. Uh, <laughs> I've seen it. i peeped it. Um, again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just me. My personal preference is I don't like doing it uh, only because of the fact that I like, I like the feeling of the original track. I don't like... The fact that I have to speed it up. Oh, I can't. Why can I? Oh, think so. Yeah, so I can't. I don't like the feeling of like, you know, same tempo. To every single song. Like, if I want to play Elamay Trip, I want to play that at that tempo versus Privacy by Chris Brown tempo. Like, I don't want to raise, have to raise it just to match up. Or playing uh, "Word" by Rihanna, and, like keep. I I'd rather keep at the same tempo. Like, I'll build my way to that tempo because there's plenty of songs that do that. But like, if I want to skip from that song to that song, when there's two different tempos, like one sixty-eight and one's like ninety-five. Honestly, what I would do is I'll, you know, I'll fade it. Um, I'll fade it like not like that, but like it'll be a fader, or I'll bring the beat. So it sounds like that. And then when I do that, or if I press a, my bad, I'll do that too. Now, I learned too, when back spinning or forward spinning, if you want to do it properly, you want to make it real, 
sounds really smooth. Bring the bass down. So it sounds a lot more cleaner. We transfer over. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my few tips and tricks. I'm mainly a sampler. So when I play a song, that'll be my intro. And then I have my just DJ Anti Zero and go in. Because I want to keep that crowd hype. I'll even do it. Like, I'll keep going in like that. Um, I do want to upgrade this deck because I definitely want eight, eight pads on both sides I can use. Not the play button over here. Like I'd rather have the play button on the side or something and have the panels. Which I want to get the beat um, pad 2, but I'm also looking at the mix on 4 and debating on which one to get. Uh, other than that... I don't see anything I really use. I use this obviously to you know listen to the song when I have my headphones in. Uh, general sense. If you have guys have any more you know questions about DJing, uh, feel free to ask me. I'd be down for that. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for that segment of the video. <laughs> Not a trimming about to happen. So that's pretty much it for me DJing. Um, I was gonna DJ today, but honestly, I have to really go over this, these these songs again, reorganize them, and I want to get um, the MP MP3 pool. Yes, MP3 pool. So I can actually have like select like exclusive songs that I can't find anywhere else by exclusive I mean like remixes of songs that people already know of not like exclusive as in like a song never came on like sound thought or something and nobody heard of it like like I, yeah I want that too but it's kind of like a and eh, I can always just you know find it on my own without that paying $20 a month thing but um oh okay Sorry for the yawning. Oh my god. So when I end up talking, I'm sorry to become yawning. So, I'm going to go ahead and do these photo shoots. I'm going to try to get something done. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee myself. I really feel like I should leave you with one more tip on DJ. If you're going to DJ, and I guess this is for beginner DJs. I recommend having headphones, which I'm pretty sure you guys have obviously seen. Um, these are really beat up. I had these for like two, three years now. Really beat up. Uh, and the other ones I had actually cracked. But it's, you know, it is. Oh, right. I apologize. So, have headphones. Uh, practice. I don't practice enough. I can say that much. At this point, I, my practice is my gig, which is kind of weird because now, depending on what gig it is, is when I go into practice mode. But if it's not like, like right now, I have a gig next Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday, and most likely I'm going to be in practice mode. Where I'm gonna be experimenting, so I'm kind of probably gonna go in and just like, not really the blindfold state, but like, yeah, I know this, but I didn't like preset set the songs in my head or jot down, which you could do, you could jot down songs, um, and did me. So now the one thing I definitely want to learn for DJing, um, for practicing wise. It's either A, I'll have a microphone while I'm DJing and MC as I DJ, which is kind of difficult for me because of the fact that I kind of want to get into the, the chopping and the DJ. I want, DJ. I want to do that, but I can't do that while I have a microphone. So it was going like this, but now it all depends. And it all depends on like, yo, like. I can dun, dun, but I also got to stay tuned with the song, so I can't go in and talk the way I want to talk, and I got to blend, so it's kind of hard doing it one hand, blending-wise, like, and listening at the same time, like, oh, 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 like, 
how fast I was. I'm kidding. Um, or I pre-record a segment of my mix, and that's the segment I go in at. Which I have no problem DJs of doing is, you know, creating a pre-recording version and, you know, using it for like an actual event. My only beef or my only problem is I'd rather you not, you know, play that all the way through. Not play all the way through, but like I don't want like the three hours of a pre-recorded mix and all you did was just scratch that mix off and added some effects from here and there, but everything is set in stone. I'd rather not that. Um, that's just me. I rather. I, and the problem is, I've seen DJs like that, and they'll end up leaving the the booth area. And I'm just like, I'm trying to have a connection with you, DJ, and you playing songs that I'm sitting there like, why would you play? Because now I'm not playing. Sorry, the, 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 phone, the video cut off, so I kind of lost my train of thought for two seconds. Um, you're not playing, you're not playing, you're not playing, you're not playing. So, now when I request a song like Work by Rihanna and Drake, but you're playing something else, and I'm saying like, that, you know what guys, just, just discuss what I was saying because my phone keeps acting up right now, and it's telling me, yo, you have a lot of storage on your phone. From past vlogs that I'm going to end up deleting, like right after this is done, and have to reset my phone, and it's gonna be on 50 percent by the time. So anyway, I'm gonna go hop over, play Kingdom Hearts. Cause I only got like a month, and I got like a, I got about two months until Kingdom Hearts drops. So getting used to the mechanics again, because uh, I'm looking forward to Kingdom Hearts 3, which I will be doing a vlog video on that eventually at some point about my excitement, my experience with Kingdom Hearts 3. Seen other YouTubers and whatnot. Most likely going to be for tomorrow, depending on how tomorrow works out. Tomorrow is my trip to Syracuse, and I'm supposed to be doing a photo shoot at Syracuse. Um, I don't got money, so we're going, to, we're going to have to figure out how this whole photo shoot thing is going to go down. When I ain't got like, I really have no money to like buy food or anything. Like, whatever I got here is what I got until so next week Thursday. Kind of made a little bad decisions. Not really bad, but things I didn't look out for. Like some bills. Like I didn't, I didn't realize the bills. I mean, I knew it was coming, but I was like, all right. You know, I still have X, Y, and Z. Right? Mom, what are you, right? And it was like, not, nah, not really. And I was like, okay, well, my life. This is one of the things I shouldn't have bought, but I ended up buying it anyway because I wanted to do a photo shoot. So it's kind of my fault. Anyway, like I was saying, Thank you guys for tuning in to another Dreyas Hip Hop Vlog. Uh, yeah, comment below what vlog do you want me to make. I'm trying to work on different vlogs and different styles. Hopefully teach you guys something in the progress of what I'm doing. Um, and never forget, this is also my journey as a DJ, photographer, dancer, DJ, artist. Wow. I'm going to say DJ twice, artist. Um... See you guys. Let's clip. Love my Santa hat. In the tree. I know this won't make much of a difference, but okay, Google. Turn off my light. Sure. Turning the Mercury BW 904 bulb off. Gotta love it. New world. Peace out.